Melbourne Rat Pack, and today we'll, we will be examining um, Alex versus Williams uh, Pokemon battle. Uh, this one went by fairly quick, um, so I'm excited to dive into this. Uh, let's start. Anyways, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, one sec. There we go. So, as we can see, before anything, we see that, um, we see William is official on uh, Alex's team, set up spikes on Ting Lu. Now, you know me, I love entry hazards as much as the next guy. And William had a big problem with entry hazards last week. So, it's exciting to see um, that hazards are coming back. And as we see, um, Ting Lu uses Whirlwind on Voice Cash, which is genius because. The rest of his team is fairly weak to ground. We got electric type, we got a dark and steel type, and then the other three are like kind of neutral to ground. Ground and dark. Ooh, weak to dark, weak to dark, I think? No, no, you're neutral. Um, you're not weak to dark. So Solidowing would have been a good count here, but King Gambit is thrown out, and as we know, King Gambit sucks uh, against Ting Lu, and it just sucks when it doesn't have a dead Pokemon. So, immediately he switches back into Whiskash, and he uses Body Press, which would have been genius against uh, King Gambit, but King Gambit was, wasn't in there. Um, with, he doesn't have, uh, I don't know a lot about Ting Lu, but I do know that this damage is not going to be a lot. Yeah, see, they're 21. Um, 21 is not ideal for a Whiskash, but Whiskash is really bulky. There's really no way of killing this unless you have a Grass type, which... Um, William does with Wo Qian, so maybe let's hope he uses that in the future. Uh, leftovers pop. More hazards. Stealth Rock. Now that's scary. You got you got spikes and Stealth Rock. And what's funny, William was in this exact situation last game, except instead of Camera Up, he had um. Yeah, you know what? At this point, I don't even remember what he had. So. Um, yeah. Then we've got Stealth, Stealth Rock on their side. <clears throat> so now they've got Hazards, which is a little scary with Mimikyu's Disguise. Um, it kind of hurts it. And Zoroark's Illusion, because both of those are going to pop, I'm pretty sure. And that's just not good for Alex. Oh, we see the Surf. 31 damage. You know, decent damage. Decent from a Whiskatch. Um, then we see Ting Lu use Whirlwind. Now, this is genius. This is exactly what I was talking about in my last video that I narrated. Having, like, a force switch out move with hazards up is going to whittle down all their HP. Admittedly, it's not going to do a lot. Here comes Gallade. Gallade, remember last time? Gallade got, like, one shot. Sword Zane's Foul Play. Let's hope that doesn't happen here. Um, here comes Slitherwing. Slitherwing has the heavy duty boots on. Um, but Slitherwing isn't really that good. I mean, bug fighting, sure, but come on, it's, it's not really that good. Here comes Salazzle also with the heavy duty boots. But, we'll, but, then, but then we see the Whirlwind, and Gallade gets hurt and brought down to 63. That's why this strat is just so genius. Because they'll barely have time to attack. Here comes Wo Chien. Quad weak to bug, so I don't know what he's what he's doing. Here comes Whirlwind. Boom! Galay now down to less than half, just on entry hazards. This thing has not been attacked. This is all entry hazards. That's why this play is so genius. So smart. Psycho Cut kills um the Whirlwinder. So say goodbye to to Slitherwing there. Uh King Gambit. Now, here's, here's a little interesting thing. This is clearly Zoroark Hisui, because it doesn't say Fallen 1. That's, that's, that's... <laughs> so dumb. Um, so we know this is Zoroark Hisui. Shadow Ball, that's another thing. This thing is a special attacker with Shadow Ball, are you serious? No, it's not. Gallade's out of here. Camera up. 
Here's the thing with camera up. I fucking love camera up, and I'm really pissed I don't have camera up on my team. So, William, if you're watching this, I would love to have camera up on my team. Uh, we can make a trade for something, I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> here comes Whiskash. Now, Whiskash is the goat of this battle, to say the least. It's pretty good. Um, but let's let's just see how it turns out. Fire spin. Fire spin is not the play to do. It is just not. And I know he switched out. That's different. It's because it'll trap the Pokemon in in game. You don't want that because camera kind of sucks. Well, it doesn't suck. It actually is pretty good with anger point, magma armor. It's pretty good. But as we see here, he switches into Wochium, as one should. He's brought down to half! Entry hazards are a big deal! This is why you need entry hazards! Here comes the Earthquake. It's not gonna do a lot, only 10 to Wochium. Um... We see Mimikyu come out. Oh, I guess it doesn't pop Disguise, my bad. Play Rough. It doesn't matter with the Reflect up. So he sets up Reflect to weaken physical moves, but it doesn't matter because, um, you know, it's just so good. So Wochian goes down to a play rough with Reflect up. Then he sends out Camera up. Camera up also down to like half. Here's the Whiskash. Here's the thing I want you to take notice Whiskash is a water type. All of William's Pokemon are weak to, are weak to water type. Every single one of them. So what do you think is going to happen uh, for the rest of this game? What, 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 what do you think might happen? There's the Surf. Killed. Dead. So Rule Edge. Fire Ghost. Entry damage. Down to 63. Poison type. <sighs> this thing has Earthquake. William, Poison Jam, Sir, now, what the fuck? Come on, William. Poison Jam, resisted, Earthquake, please. There we go. Next down, Ting Lu. Ting Lu, ground dark type. Ting Lu sucks. I hate Ting Lu. King Lu almost died. 26. Body press brings it down to 32. Um, but that's not kill range for poison. Poison is gonna take at least two, three more turns to kill. So it's not good. King Lu brought down to two. Look for 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 the mercy of God for William. King Lu's brought down to two. And able to get another body press off with five HP left. With even with leftovers, poison is just barely in kill range. And finally, after this turn, Whiskash goes down. Um, so you might be thinking, oh, finally he's got a chance, right? Says out King Gambit. Um, no fallen two, so we know that this is the Zoroark. There's the Shadow Ball. There's the special shadow special attacking King Gambit. Flamethrower immediately killed. Wow. Then he sends out, um, um, I'm forgetting what his name, Bellabolt. And Bellabolt's good. As we saw in these last two battles, or as we're about to see right here, Bellabolt is just good. Gets attacked with Sludge Bomb, Poison, however the Electromorphosis takes, takes charge, then uses Parabolic Charge, which also heals him, not only, also attacking Slazzle. So that's really good for Alex. Because there's the charge, there's the parabolic charge, and there's the kill. End of the game, way to go. And I didn't even need a brain break. Um, so that was Alex and William's battle. Um, some things to take away. William, you need to get some water coverage on your team, other than Wochir. Alex, don't send out or um your Zoroark should be someone that doesn't have the fucking give, a, a, um, shouldn't, shouldn't, uh, uh, <laughs> shouldn't be illusioned as a Pokemon with, like, a 
take, or, oh my god, with an ability that gives away that it's that Pokemon. So if you're, if, if it's King Gambit, that's just not gonna, that's not good. You don't want that as the King Gambit. You don't want your Zoroark to be a King Gambit, is what I'm telling you. <sighs> Thank you.